ladies, by the end of this video, this video right here, you're going to figure out if you are wasting your time and or if you need to tell the guy to stay or take a hike, okay? At the end of this video, you're going to know if he truly likes you or if he's just bullshitting you, okay? Now, what's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And if you haven't yet, please caress. Just, just love on that subscribe button. Caress it. Give it a little tap on the booty just like you want in the morning when you're in the kitchen making some pancakes and he comes behind and he, he, he gives you that, that smell. He kisses your cheek and, and spanks you on the booty. I know you all like it. Love that little bell notification, okay? So you get these videos right away. Now, jumping right into this. Here's the thing, ladies. This is going to be a little redundant. And it's going to be based off the last video I made that I'm going to put somewhere around here. And it talks about, in the last video at least, I talk about how I don't really give a shit about all the stuff he does in the beginning. What is he doing now? What is he doing now? If it's contrast to what he was done doing in the beginning, disregard all that in the beginning and uh, focus on him being the piece of shit he is, okay? So this concept goes to the famous quote, quote me, quote me ladies, quote me down in the uh, comments. The famous quote I always say, which is, if a guy truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you. Now, don't click off, because this is the, the meat and potatoes of the video. A lot of women fall into three categories, maybe four, um, if, if uh, you hear this phrase. The, the, the most like optimal one would be, hey, I don't fall in this category because the guy likes me. Then it's women who, uh, the next one would be women who focus more on the stuff you did in the beginning or just the positive things and not the negative. They will come to me and say, well, Elliot, I don't, I, they justify it. They're like, that's not me because he told me he loved me. Well, ladies, I don't really give a shit. If he's pulling this kind of crap now, disregard the idea of him loving you. That's just how it works. A guy who truly loves you will not put himself in a position to lose you. And then, of course, the other two categories are a woman who is not sure or and a woman who just doesn't want to believe it, okay? She wants to find out the hard way. So, in this video, I'm going to help you find that out, okay? I am going to give you a list of things that, in my opinion, are a clear sign that the guy is not interested, okay? And let me give you a little so, a philosophical, like, I don't know, jab here, okay? A little, a little punch in the face, philosophically, okay? Uh, metaphorically, I will never hit you. But it's important to understand that just because a guy is around, okay? Just because a guy is in your presence and a guy you are talking for a while um, doesn't mean he wants a relationship, okay? Which is why I tell women, one, to check out my course. And if you don't want to get out my course, that's fine. Understand context, okay? And three, um, that's why I'm so, I emphasize so much the six to eight dates thing. At six to eight dates, if you are not in a relationship, you are not going to get one, okay? You got to call the guy out. And women are like, well, why do I got to call him out? Why doesn't he, why doesn't he the, the one who propose it? Because he's not going to. If you're eight dates in and you're giving it up and he's getting the boyfriend benefits and he's not in a relationship, he's not going to do it, Okay. It's not going to happen because he can have his cake and eat it too. And you're letting him. You're liter you, you are literally saying, hey, go to the fridge, little Johnny. I'm, I'm not look. Mommy's not looking. Don't call him. Don't, don't let him call you mommy. But I'm not looking. And then you just let him eat all the cake you effing once. Okay? That's not okay. That's why you got to call the guy out. Which goes more into my philosophy on offensive and defensive dating. A lot of women... Focus on the offensive. Let's see where it goes. You know, two people talking and it, it, it transitions to, into a relationship. But you don't focus on the defensive where if the offensive is not working, there's a reason. So you got to put a limit, a limitation on the access he has to you. Okay, the the asset, the uh, access to the assets I talk about. And after so long, six to eight dates, you need to cut him off because he needs to think, oh shit, she's not joking around. I need to take her off or I at least need to take her seriously, take her off the market or take her seriously because if I don't, someone's going to take her. And no guy wants that, sh wants access to the, a or wants the access to the assets to be taken away. He doesn't want the assets to be taken away. 
Okay, so to get into the to finally get into this five minutes later, I think that was all really important. Um, what are signs that this guy is not as interested or he's putting himself in a position to lose you? Number one, if he's talking to you after six to eight dates, don't expect a relationship. If you feel like the guy's taking you for granted, don't expect the relationship. If and, and people say, well, what's the sign of being taken for granted? You can kind of tell the lack of effort, right? I tell women all the time, follow your gut. Your gut is very, very, very accurate. I, I don't think I know any woman, unless she's just coming to me with rose-colored glasses and doesn't want to accept the truth and has blinders on and she's just trying to justify shit. But when she's honest with herself and we're talking, like we're just bouncing stuff off each other, you know, in, in this session. Um she's always almost always right oh oh, i'm telling you like 98 percent of the time women come to me and they're like i have this gut feeling he's a player he's probably a player i have this gut feeling that he's not really true to what he's then he's probably not being truthful it's accurate so go with that ladies so if your guy's talking to you for eight weeks eight days and you're not getting a relationship you might not get one if this guy's pulling away um, I think he's putting, but, but Elliot, he comes back around. He's putting himself in a position to lose you. He's just coming back around on convenience. That's what women don't understand. Just like I said, just because a guy's around doesn't mean he wants a relationship. Sometimes when a guy comes back around automatically, it's like layers, right? Like automatically assume there, there, there's a saying, if you hear hosts think horse is not zebras. If he comes back around, assume it's for the assets. It's not a relationship because he wouldn't have pulled away to begin with. You know, it's very logical when you think about it, ladies. Um, but for some reason, a lot of you will justify things and beat around the bush, and you will want to find out the hard way. Then you'll waste $90 talking to me. Um, I, if, if I'm $90 in the future, I don't know. Uh, I, I might change it. Lower rate, raise it. Who, can, who knows? But as of right now, $90, okay? And you're wasting your time. Right? You're, you're wasting your time because I'm telling you right now, if you are getting the vibe that he doesn't want a relationship, you're probably right. And if you're talking more than eight weeks, you're absolutely 100% right. Why are you sticking around? If you're one of these people, ladies, who stick around thinking, well, he's, he, uh, hopefully he changes. He's not going to change. Well, Elliot, he just got out of a relationship three months ago. Then he shouldn't be dating. He shouldn't be dating. And even if he is, I don't care. Six to eight weeks. Why would, ladies, if you're talking to a guy who just got out of a relationship, I don't care if it's six months ago, nine months ago, who cares? If you think that waiting around longer is going to make him change his mind and realize, oh shit, this is an awesome woman, that's not going to happen. He's going to continue being single and emotionally unavailable talking to other women, not wanting to get in a relationship while just extending the invitation or you're extending this invitation to take advantage of you. He's going to do it. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Ladies, always go towards the path of least resistance. I had a client today. Now I'm just going on a rant. I don't care. And I love her dearly, right? This client and I, she probably had 20 sessions with me. Don't ask me why she has so many. Uh, we just like to bounce shit off each other. Okay. Um, awesome client. Woman lives in California. I tell her that's her first mistake. Too much competition there, jokingly. Um, and she says, well, there's this guy who came back around. And I don't think she's going to mind me telling her story. I'm not going to go into detail with it. Um, and I'm sure she's watching this. But she said this guy comes back around this time is different. And, he, you know, he, and he's moving back and he wants to see where things go. I say, er, stop. Even if that's true, that is not real. Or it's, it, be positively cautious okay that is not how it goes a guy just doesn't wake up out of nowhere and say hey i'm moving back to this area let me start dating this and this is a good looking dude guys or ladies this is a really good looking dude who sleeps around this guy sleeps around he can get any woman he wants he's a very I'm, I'm, when i say that i mean like a 10 out of 10 very good looking dude and i told her don't take this the wrong way because i love you dearly but what makes you so special that he's going to automatically, out of nowhere, out of not seeing you for so long, out of the long distance, 
and the not really talking or texting much, that he's going to come into town, even if he wants to date you, that he's going to sell his oaths before even getting there and, and, uh, and, 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 just, and just tie you down. No, a good looking dude like that, hey, even if he's telling you and it's truthful, it's not 100%, it, there's like the fine print. He's going to go, again, this is a woman he has not seen in such a long time. There's long distance, they haven't really talked, they had they had quarrels in the past and things like that. He's going to go back to California. He's going to search for other women. He's going to download every app possible. He's going to talk to all these women um, and and then go, that's my opinion. She says I'm wrong and she, we're not arguing. We're just, again, just bouncing shit off each other. She says that I, uh, you know, it might, this time I think, I think you're wrong with him. It might be a little different. I say, hey, you know what? I hope I'm wrong. And I'm not saying not to talk to him. I'm not saying don't try it. Just be positively cautious because I don't see why a guy out of nowhere would just be so chipper on seeing you and picking up or, le or picking up a relationship when he could, ladies, here's the caveat here, okay? When he can just go there, get the relationship benefits from you, which is the benefits of what he, why he's warming you up now. I, path of least resistance. Hear hooves, right? Or you, you hear, you hear, was it? Hear hooves, think horses, not zebras, right? He's going there. Why not just warm you up? Have this, ha, have a friends of benefits or get in your pants and then continue to talk to other women. And if it works out with us, great, it does. If it doesn't, it does. That's what I see, okay? So ladies, to sum all this up, if a guy is truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you. Stop justifying things. Stop overthinking it. Look at it as clear as day and listen to your gut because a lot of the times, it is right. It is right. It is right. It is right. I don't care what he says in the beginning. I don't care if he tells you he loves you. If he has never met a woman like, I, I don't care. What is he doing now? And if you're, if he is pulling away or acting different now, and you have not uh, tied it, tie, tied the knot in relationship terms, and um, or in terms of a relationship, after eight dates, you are not going to get the relationship unless you call the motherfucker out and tell him. Okay. So with that being said, ladies, I love you all. Again, caress. Make love to that subscribe button. And if you haven't yet, um, if you want to get my course, Attraction Academy, which saves you time with money it, or time time with uh, men, it that well, does save you money in the long run. Uh, it, it does, it, and, it, and it tells you everything you need to know on attracting dudes. Hey, links down below, okay? With that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.